Hey, it's GT from Death Wears Bunny Slippers. We got a question from a fan. Remember, you can always email us gt at dwbs.video if you have questions, and we will answer them on air if they're cool questions. Uh, but here's the question. It is, hey, I love your videos, but I'm paraphrasing here. I love your videos, but basically I still don't really understand the layout of the silo. Can you help explain that? Uh, sincerely, Nuclear Boner. Well, Mr. or Mrs. Boner, you can never tell these days, so I want to be cool and appropriate here. Um, so this is the layout, and the, it's a really good question because I kind of sometimes take for granted that people just get it. But this, there's three pieces here, 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 and here. Those were, these are at the surface of this picture. And by the way, if you Google Titan II nuclear complex, you'll get this picture. Um, so I didn't do this or anything, but those three places are at the surface. Everything else is below the surface. So this is the original stairs. So right here going back and forth, these are the original stairs. And then right here, that was the original elevator. Um, they didn't destroy it. So if you watch the video uh, opening part one, you saw that huge piece of concrete we pulled out. Well, they threw that concrete in there because they wanted some way lazy and easy to destroy all that. So they took out like cool things like the motor and stuff out of the elevator, but then they just threw this down and just destroyed it. They just kept throwing large chunks of concrete uh, to destroy this whole thing. Here's our door down here at the bottom. So this is the door that we go into. So we go in out. So when we came in to shoot this video today, we go down a set of stairs, but we had to build our own. You'll see that in another video. So we go down a really cool spiral staircase, and then we go in. From here, when you go in, you enter through this door. This is actually called door number six per the blueprints. And then there's another, there's actually four doors in total like this. So we go from this door to another one. This is a little room up in the beginning. And then there's another room kind of a, or this room right here that's kind of outlined, uh, that's what's called the blast lock. The blast lock is just like it sounds. When this silo was in, uh, in use, in production, if you will, uh, when you would walk in the first door, you'd have to have that door shut behind you, and then the next one would be able to open. Uh, the same way with the door here, sorry, right here is a door, and there's another one right here. So if you wanted to walk from here to the missile, you would go in here, close the door behind you, and then go to the next section. That way if the missile ever blew up, which happened, or we got hit by a nuclear warhead, you were always locked away from the blast, hence the name block, uh, blast lock. So once you get into this center room, if you look to the right or turn to the right, you go down a long tunnel, which is actually right down there. You guys will see that in a future video. Uh, so you go down this tunnel and then to the missile silo itself. Now, depending on what videos you've seen of us, we know that we're not down there. We can't get into that yet. Whole other reason why. From when you walk in, you take a left, you come in on what's called level two of the launch control center. Now, these, um, when you're underground, it's numbered. So this is called topside. The ground above you is called topside. And this is level one, two, and level three. So these three levels um, are, had again, originally had a big set of stairs. Uh, we modified those a bit. Again, you'll see that coming up. I know I'm teasing you. But that's the basic layout. Now, these floors are about 1,000 square feet each. They're a perfect circle. And they are all suspended on springs. So what you see here, again, it doesn't show up well. But there's these large springs right here that hang up to the ceiling, they actually are hung there. So even though there's a level three right here, that's the bottom floor, there's actually another bottom floor. These floors are out of steel, 18 inch I-beam, they're huge, but this bottom floor down here is concrete. And this concrete is, I believe, about eight feet thick, crisscrossed with rebar. And the reason it's so thick is because with anything that you bury underground, as odd as it sounds, it can actually float out. So this had to be anchored and have enough weight behind it so that would never happen. And the government doing its job, especially back in the 60s, made sure that thing was never going to move. So Nuclear Boner, I hope that answers the question for you. That was kind of a quick tour in the layout. Maybe one day you can come visit us and uh, we'll give you a tour for real. Thanks a lot. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.